So what is the cause of myopia? Well, we know that there are some genetic factors at play. Uh, we see it running in families. But we also know that the environment plays an enormous impact. Most of the evidence for that comes from epidemiological studies and really interesting studies on different population groups. And we know from studies of Aboriginal peoples that if people are living closer to a hunter-gatherer type lifestyle, that that population will have almost no short-sightedness. It almost doesn't exist in that population. But as soon as you make all the children go to school, about 40% of the children become short-sighted. So there is something about creating an environment in which children are focusing up close for extended periods of time that will make not all, but a proportion of those children develop myopia. So it appears that there are some cells in the retina that respond to image blur to change the shape of the eye, to actually make the eye enlarge slightly, such that objects which are up close are in focus, and images that are far away are refracted too much, and the images are blurred, and they're short-sighted. That's, that's short-sightedness. So it, it seems to be a, a combination of factors, but it's, it's fascinating. I find it amazing that, that the environment can have, have such a great impact. Uh, a few years back, I saw a, a lovely lady who was talking about the fact that all of her siblings were very short-sighted as, as she was. She was about minus seven. Uh, and she somehow started talking about her childhood and about how they were all complete bookworms. I was actually a little bit upset when I said, oh, well, that, that's probably why you're all, <laughs> why you're all so short-sighted because you, know, you spent so long sort of focused here. But um, I was able to reassure her that I'm sure there were many, many other benefits to her intellectual development for spending so much time with her head in the books.